Salabat po. Kindly take your seats. Thank you for your courtesy. As usual, malakanya nung just prepare about for your anniversary two pages of ganon. Jo ini small niyo si ano ha? Or this stuff? Two pages for so many years of toil and hardship for the Filipino. Let me allow me to make the acknowledgments. The Socio-Economic Planning Secretary and then the Director General Ernesto Perni and other members of the Cabinet, officials and employees of NEDA and attached uh, agencies. Ma kasama ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan. Uh, I would be through in about a minute. So, kanina pa sinabi ko kay Secretary Tugade, saan niyang amoy na? Sige ako, inhale, exhale. So, may pagkain dito. Actually, <laughs> totoo yan. Na, na, hindi, ako, hindi, hindi ako nagbubula ng publika. Ano yun? Alam mo kasi, there's always my article of faith in life. That I do not lie. Because I do not have the obligation to anybody to lie. So why should I lie and keep on lying to cover the lie? So, sa nanay ko, marami. Pero sa tao, kaya ako sabi ko kanina, nagmamadali ako, ang usapan kasi, there will be a simultaneous destruction of the imported luxury cars in Davao, Cebu, and Manila. Late na kasi ako, so nila ako ng gatas. Tapos uh, may naamoy ako na ito bang amoy na yan pare sa amin o sa inyo? Oh. Kasi ko, ah, ilang beses ninyo narinig ako mag-speech, speech. speech. Uh, total alam namin yung ginagawa ko. I like you, we are all workers of government. Uh, no special uh, significance is attached by just placing this officials of government. We are all workers of government and we work for the people. Kaya nung si Bato, Pinawagan ko last week, sabi ko, you place there another notice sa casinos lahat. Na workers of government are not allowed inside the casino. That is not my rule. That was the rule of Marcos, which I think is uh, appropriately also uh, suited for all times. So nilagyan ko, sabi ko, lagay mo lang dyan. Workers of government. Sabi pa ito na ito bato, palpalimba sa polis. E sabi niya, e yung official, sir. Putang. Kaya lumalaki ang mga ulo niyang yawa na. Official, official. Tayong lahat, trabahante sa gobyerno. So, well, I expect everybody to just honor it. I said, it's not my role. It's Marcos Esera. But uh, it would be good as any other time to remind you that it does not look good. So I may just opt to say something also from my heart. I am not into politics. Let me be very clear on this. I am not, I'm not up to even as a kagawad, barangay kagawad. But just the same, uh, let me all remind you that uh, I was elected by the Filipino people. I was, I was uh, not a candidate of any politician. As a matter of fact, uh, I could only count by the fingers of my hands the ilan lang, I think, uh, 
Abed Garcia of Bataan, Amy. Nobody from Cebu, not even a barangay captain. In Mindanao, Mato Subiri, and uh, there's another lady governor, which I cannot mention, kasi mahal ko siya. <laughs> Baka mabuko tayo. At may asawa na siya. So, but, you know, from this year, uh, magnitude of my margin over the second opponent. It was just simply too, just, it was just simply too big and pati ako na tulala. But I remember now, in the hindsight, anong, niwala akong sa Maynila, not even one barangay cup in here. Pero what made the people decide in my favor? So that's 15 million and 6 million of that is my margin. Sabi ko ano? Because I carried, on I'm carrying now, a very simple set of rules or messages. One, I said, I will try. I can only try to stop corruption. Second is uh, the problem of drugs has overwhelmed the Philippine public so society. And this has to be controlled or stopped altogether. Third is that uh, I, said I would talk to all the enemies of the state, make peace with them, reach out a deal if possible. And fourth is that I will allow the brightest uh, financial managers of our country to help me run the economic side. Lahat ho yan, nagawa ko na. Pero ginagawa ko pa rin because it remains to be a problem. If it's not a one thing time to solve it, Corruption remains, and it will be even beyond my time. Drugs still abound. By tunilada na dito, you know, ito mga human rights, uh, they know. They know my every afternoon, tignan mo sa TV patrol. Oh, halat na yan. Puro araw-araw, seven, eight cases of killing, Raping a six-month-old baby, killing the entire family. And that was the rule of the past, even at a bigger scale, before I became president. Now, I would tell you that I, there was this promise, which turned out to be a nightmare, a, a, a fiasco. Well, because when I was mayor, I made the promise. Ang mindset ko was the vow. And I maybe naivete had something to do with that also. Sabi ko in six months' uh, time, I will solve the problem of drug. But that was based on the factual situation in the vow. Numbers and all. But when I became president, nakita ako yung magnitude. The, my, the dimension of the contamination at it ran into millions. At maraming namatay. In Davao, maraming namatay. Itong stupid na human rights. You don't go to war with criminal syndicates without killing people. And me, I have lost something like what, 300 ever since we started or I'm, I embarked on it, including the losses in Marawi. You remember, I'm just trying to tell you straight. Kayong mga muro, wag kayong do not get mad at me. Pariho tayo. Pariho tayo ang nanay ko, anak ng Marano. 
Hindi ko alam ganyan ka lang. Including generals. So I thought that I made the correct uh, projections. But to my horror, pati mga generals ng police. So I said, uh, including the customs people. So I was fighting the front here at my back. The customs uh, people were also corrupt. They were also in cahoots with the others, importing druga. So by tunilada. And there are ships in the international waters, old ships, junk, the cooking shabu, place them in the plastic bins, the blue, throwing it out to the sea, placing a homing device, tapos uh, yung kukunin lang ng mga, kaya makikita mo yun, regions one and two and three. It's all awash with the, uh, plastic bins. Shabu yan. And Shabu remains to be a number one problem. Remember that I did not declare Shabu as a national security threat. It was Arroyo who did it. Inadapt ko na lang kasi sa mga panahon ko, I'm not trying to attribute anything to the past uh, presidents. Sabi ko sa panahon ko, sabi ko noong sa mayor ako, and I was said, I was, I was, I mean, I said, uh, I am not a policeman, no? I'm not a soldier. I'm just an ordinary worker of government, tasked with keeping the country safe and the people uh, from the danger. Do not destroy my city and do not destroy the young because I will kill you. When I became president, the same problem but of different uh, magnitude and severity. I said, do not destroy my country. I'm just trying to build a country, freed from any of those uh, painful experiences of other countries. Do not destroy the youth because I will kill you. And the human rights, can you clip the land and they're hanging to that? Destroy my country. Now, tell me what is wrong when a leader says, I will kill you if you destroy my country. Anong mali dyan? Sisirain mo ang bayan ko, bubuhayin kita, dreaming ka. And these human rights people are attributing because my orders to the police and military was really very simple. It's a national security threat. Go after the organized crimes. Destroy the apparatus. And destroy the people behind it. What does it mean? Simply means that if you have to die, you will die. You know, it's as simple as that. Corruption. As far as India, no man can put that. It's in Iraq, but you know what it is. Never ending, yah. No president has done that. But as a panahon ko, I may have a different. The problem, kasi sa akin is, there was never a paradigm shift. From being a local mayor, local lang pan local, to being the president of the Republic of the Philippines. Ang bunga ng ako pati yung mindset ko is all about mayorship. I look at the Philippines as a city with all the attendant problems of a country and city almost similar. At ang bunga ng ako bastos daw. Ito to yah. Bastos talaga ako. Wala akong breeding. Hindi wala akong breeding. Hindi naman akong manok na bibili breed doon sa amin eh. 
Pinalaki lang ako ng nanay ko na ano. At sabi, well, dito ka here is our class valedictorian sa law school. Eh ako, it took me seven years. Tugado got, tugado got the 90s. Yung mga 70, 75, 77, amin yun. We were never groomed to be a top-notcher. Sabi nila, si Duterte hindi daw statesman. Kasi hindi pwedeng mag-presidente, bastos ang bunga kapotang. Akala ko ba sa College of Law ako, wala namang subject na statesman, how to be statesman, son of a bitch. Pariho lang yan sa akin. So, pasensya na ang Pilipina, and I do not really mean words. Kung sinabi kong ganun ka, ganun ka, kasi sa law school kami, ganun ako. You are happy with my language. Kaya mag-usap kami noon, I tend to forget my Tagalog. Kami kang laking dabaw, melting pot eh. So, yung taga-dabaw, alam niyan. It's a melting pot. So, nakakaintindi ako ng Ilocano, nakakapagsalita ako ng daw ng Ilonggo, ng damo sa dabaw ah. Nakaka, nakakapagsalita ako, pati yung intonation. Nakakaintindi ako ng Tagalog, po ito minsan Tagalog, may nagtatagalog ako, tapos hinahanap ko ano. Ano kan Tagalog dito putang yun ang ano nito? Ah, ganon. Sinaw. Kasi yung mga flashy cars, sinaw. Ano yun ang putang yun ang oh, yan, yan, may media. Sabi ko masyadong sinaw yung kutse ko. Ay, mga sports car. Sabi ko sinaw. Ano kan Tagalog dito putang yun ang sinaw na ito? Sabi nila, ano kan yun? Yung Tagalog. Makintab. So, ang problema kasi nito ang mga Tagalog, ayaw matuto magbisaya. So, hindi niya ako naintindihan, problema niyo niyan, hindi ko problema yan. Masabi ko kanina, sinaw. Sinaw in Visayan, like is makintab. So yan, magprangkahan na lang tayo. Treat me as just a worker. Wala naman akong ambisyon na magpasyal-pasyal. I hate to travel, really. I mean, I've been invited by the EU. Isa pa rin yung mga gago dyan, isang organization. Uh, by, may mismo si TAS, the Commission and the Council, uh, invited me to Brazil. So, uh, for what? Kung tingin ninyo sa aking gano'n noon, say, why change uh, your... your uh, assessment of my persona. So what am, I, what am I supposed to go there? Ask me question. Insultuhin ninyo. Ay putahin ko kayo lahat doon. Huwag mang galit. Hindi ako kaya ng imang presidente na pwede mo lang mabay ko. Bahala kayo dyan. Trump has a standing invitation. So sabi ng dalawang senador doon, uh, if that Duterte comes here, we will uh, lead the protest. <laughs> you know, guys, you are too presumptuous. Whoever told you that magpunta ako dyan sa lugar nila, ano makuha ako dyan? Ano makita ako? Girls? Unlike the Philippines, no, not at all. I'll just be frank and be, be, uh, with the public. No, congressman ako. Muntay, pagkatapos gabi, magbabaan na yung mga gago dyan sa Congress. Nganap na babae. Ako, faithful ako sa Pilipina. Kasi yung... Sa Malayo, maganda. Eh, exotic eh. Hindi mo nagkikita sa... Pati paglapit mo, queer na ang amoy. Balik tayo sa kwarto. At saka, faithful ako. Ah, ah, talaga, faithful ako. Faithful ako sa Pilipina. Marami lang sila, pero faithful. 
Hindi man kailangan isa lang. Basta faithful ako sa Pilipino. Mabango eh. Mabango. Tapos, uh, tapos bibirahin na naman ako ng mga sixes daw ako. Maya matig na mga magpo. Hindi ka pala makasabi ng totoo dito. Eh, kung malaman ko na sirado, hindi na ako pumunta dito. Control my mouth. Totoo man. So yan. Dito sa panahon ko, I have a standing order for the cabinet. Na, more of bright man kayo. Pernia, UP, Gade, Dominguez is the finance. Kababata ko yan. In the garden to colleagues, valedictorian yan. Bit Aguirre was, kung laude natin ba si Bit? Kung laude. Kita mo, naubos ang buhok sa kababasa. Sinabi ko sa kanya, huwag mong sobrahan. Kita mo, tupay na. Lahat yan, si Lorenzana, Defense Secretary, sabi ni Iki Buloy, yun naman, the evangelist guy on TV, nagapikit yan sila, kuta ba ito? They're Ilocanos, but Mindanao yan sila. Yung Ilonggo ko, tunong Ilonggo na ano yan, kuta ba ito? Puro valediktorya niyan sila. Bantay ka niyan kay Pinyol, valediktorya niyan. May punto lang na ano, lente, when I talk in uh, English, uh, may araw. Uh, pero it's perfect English. Well, Victoria yan. May regional tuwang. Puro, puro bright yan. Kaya, uh, I am sad uh, and I am happy. I am happy that uh, I've been able to gather all the good men honest men, they're about to work for government. Kami, sabay-sabay. Pero ang happy ako dyan. Sad lang ako kasi nakikita kong itong mga bright sila. Utusan ko lang. Ako yung 75, gawin mo yan. So, I just gave them one month. Important papers, one month. Kayong mga directors listening to me now, be careful. I have fired so many. You are supposed to do it in 15 days. The local executives who are drafting the executive order will be given on the... Not about three days lang. That's the maximum. Kasi mag-apply ka ng business permit, it takes almost eternity. Sit on it, tapos mo pa. So, dyan ang corruption. Kung sa dami ako mayor noon, three days, lalabas yan, huwag ka na magpalwa. Tapos punta ka doon sa engineer. Hindi mo makita ang mga... Alam ko, kasi 23 years ako mayor eh. Sabi ko, nandiyan ka sa opinion mo. I suppose that I would want you to be the first and to last the least. Huwag mo akong pakitain na magdaan ako dyan o wala ka dyan. Magtiis ka kung hindi magtiis. Maghanap ko ng ibang trabaho. If you want an assignment, iba din, okay. Ngayon ako, para walang ano, three days. Natapos itong, well, I know that some trips are valid and legit. Okay yan sa akin. But kung mag-travel ka almost 22 times, 12 times, every month, tapos lahat na lang ng convention, pati yung mga seminar, may conference sa climate change sa South America. Nandoon ang buang. Tapos may climate change sa Brazil, Nandoon na yung tonto. O te sa Amerika, New York, climate change. Sige, lahat ng climate change. Ang putang ina niyang bagyo, hindi na tumihinto doon sa climate change. 
Palabas pala yung isa, binubuntot na doon sa puwit niyo. Puro, anong natutunan mo? Marina. Sabi ko, you get out 22 times? Nabuang ka? Sabi ko, for those na ano, teka tinignan ko, likwanan. Every month, lumalabas ko. Eh, kasi sa Chedro, kailangan ng edukasyon. Eh, magbulahin. Nung nakita ko yung mga allowances ng mga scholars, di ba nagbayar? Eh, kasi ginano niya yung pera eh. Nahulog, na devolve doon sa different mainline agency. Si gave an order na papunta lahat sa... Hindi, uh, six years spending. O, tignan mo si Popoy de Vera. Sa eskulahan niya binibigay. So, pumunta yung... Biro, isa-isahin mo yan. So, sabi ko, you are up to something. Because I know that you know and I know na walang resulta yung ginagawa mo yung puro kalubuan. So, nung nakakita, get out. So, ako si Miguel Dio, called, called the girl. Marami yan sila. So, yung itong pag-usapan kasi natin, ako nakikiusap lang. I'm not referring to you guys. I'm addressing myself to the people. Yung stop. Stop po lang. Total, dadaan lang ako. I'm now on my list. Fourth? Going for my second or third. Madali lang yan. In a GP, I'm out. But at this time, during the remaining years of my presidency, wag. Wag talaga kasi uupakan kita. That goes for the military, the police, and all. Yung budget namin under secretary halos sinipa ko sa mukha. Just fired him. Under secretary ni Duke. Ang style lang walang hiya. Putang ina niya. Ikaw, director ka. Kulang ka ng pera. Kausap siya doon sa ano. Lakari niya doon sa budget. Ito, gobyerno talaga itong pera. Walang drama ito. Walang kisihuda ka. Kung saan pera. Sige, magmulong siya doon. If you want to add that is something out of the budget or out of even of the GAA, and there are some unexpected expenses, and you want to perform, you need the money, you just call this guy because he has another guy, run runner niya. He gets the money for you, approval, but you give him something in return. Yan, yan. Pati ako pinipirito na kami na sarili namin matika doon. Kaya tinatawa ko, ginanong ko talaga sa mukha. Itong una ka, pati, pati dito ginawa mo. Hindi na bali yung importation tapos uh, kumita ka sobra-sobra or procurement. That is why ang procurement, hindi ako maniwala sa kuwa. And somebody in Congress also spoke uh, against it. Hindi maniwala sa kanina. Because alam ninyo, alam ninyo sa puso ninyo, yung, yung lowest bid na yan, that is the source of all corruption. Beginning from the national to the local hanggang barangay. Alam ninyo yan. So yung lowest bid, kapag sinabi bakit ang kwalito, eh lowest bid there are group or groups of umiikot lang yan sa mga probinsya. Yung mga asawa ninyo, kung ah, mag-golf kami sa bukid noon, sa may bala. Bantay ka, may dalang babae yan. Abangan ninyo, patay na lang ninyo. Pairamin ko kayo ng baril. Yung mga asawa ninyo, kung ganon, hindi kayo. Mag, mag ano lang, they go around, nakikiano nakiki, kung may bidding ba dito. 
grupo yan. At dadive yan ang isa. Magsingit, magdadive yan uli. Kung may magsingit pa, dive diretso. Hanggang magsurrender kasi hindi na kaya. 100 million. Mag may magdive yan ng 60, 70. Ilan naman ang mga, always mga 5%. Ito mato mag-dive. Tapos bayaran ang gobernur, mayor, malakanyan, ah, engineer, pati barangay captain. Ang, hindi ko malaman kung bakit kasali sa bigayan. He has to sign the document sa completion of projects. Laka. Marami nang niloto na barbecue. Malakas na masyadong amoy. Wala pa akong kain. Totoo lang. Baon ko. Kinili lang. O yan. So tayo, turnkey. Mega project. Hindi na ako mag-imbita. I'll just call. Kung of course, it will also deny the small ones of making it life uh, more easier for his family. But kasi ganun, sanay, gusto kong tumulong. Na medyo angat lang ng konti. In the process, in baka, it might just add to the middle class, growth of the middle class. Pero kung kasi ganun, no? so turnkey ka. Oh, how much pa? Gawain mo, according to spec. Gawin mo talaga kasi pag umalis ka dyan sa not to my liking, and then I will not pay you. So kung ikaw yung magtabaho, bakit mo bastusin mo yung project mo para hindi ka mabayaran? Eh, mga milyon yan. Kaya ito malalaki, sabi ko huwag na yung maliliit kasi corruption lang ang lalabasan. Na ito ngayon sabi na paano yung Louis bid? Swiss challenge na lang. Gusto mo. You go to Swiss Challenge. Yan ang mabibigat. Pati dito sa baba, I, I, I don't know, but uh, Kowa seems to be adamant to me. So I'm telling the Congress, I will not follow you. Huwag oh, kagulo tayo magbahala. Magdemanda kayo. Sabay-sabay lang sila sa human right. Magpakulong ako. Yung human rights, baski sa International Court of Justice, bigyan lang yun, saan na niya ako i-detain? What prison, federal uh, facility? Just to make sure that the rules are followed. Number one is the conjugal visits must be honored. <laughs> At saka yung conjugal visits, hindi lang dapat isa ang allowed Malundli man yung iba, di siyempre. Eh kung nasa Amerika, kung nasayaan ninyo. Itong akin mga apat siguro. Hmm, totoo. Yung mga sixes dyan sabihin, ano, totoo yan. Kailangan ng katawan yan. Even the presidential debate, I was at uh, Mr. Duterte, uh, marami ka raong extra fling marital uh, indiscretion. Anong sugong sagot ko kay Lucci? Sabi ko, ma'am, biology lang yan. Sabi ko, bakit ikaw? So, sabi, bakit ikaw? Wala kang biology? Okay, yan lang. Just stop. Now, I was in Davao last week. Stayed there for so many days. And there was a JICA uh, assistance. Binigyan nila ang Davao ng Montero. Police car. Napakaswerte ng mga police. Ako sa totoo, ma'am, ngayon taga Davao. Sabihan niyo sa kanila, ano, pick up lang ako. 1988, naging mayor ako. Pick up ako. Hanggang ngayon, pick up lang ako. Itong mga pulis, tangina Montero, 
luxury car. Kayo nandoon ako, nandiyan yung Jaika. I remembered. Kasi hindi ako, ayaw ko yung barat eh. Pag magbili ako ng kotse, Isuzu or Hilux, Toyota. Kaya yung mga police, yung mga police cars ko na binili ko, when I was uh, on my fifth year as mayor, nandiyan pa. Ngayon nagdagdagan. Pero I said something there at uh, kasi nagbili ako minsan, iulit ko lang ito, yun ang sinabi ko sa custom. Hilux, yung first delivery was 10 units. Ayaw ko anong nakain ng pulis na ito. Official pa naman. Gidrivan, tapos binunggo. One week after delivery, nagkaganon yung Toyota dyan sa Claveria. Binunggo dyan sa Island Island na Umiyak talaga ako kasi yung sinaw nga. Kasi sinaw nung bago pa ito. Ang putang inang pulis na tulit. Kaya may sinabi ako sa kanila. But it carries, it bears with, uh, it bears my picture. Yung sinuot ko sa Marawi. But I'd like to address myself again to the Moro community. Ginamit lang nila yung picture ko kasi parang matapang daw ako doon yung sa Marawi. Pero yung, yung I was talking about corruption, about uh, fixing cases. May sinabi ako, and it was I think a court that uh, a, a, a court that was caught the attention of my man. Hira mga mam. Galing ako mo doon sa pantalan. Ito yung kapitan sa pagpangulo. Totoo. She is a graduate of uh, Anap uh, Annapolis. Si China. Nagkakapitan ito ng barko. Siya yung nagdadala ng China kasi maliit yung singkit. Ito manahiya ang tago. So, dinagdag nila ito. Pero might as well. I'm just, uh, would, pwede na itong guntingin. Ganito na yan. Ano yung said? Okay, gusto mo. Not during my watch. Huwag sa panahon ko. Kasi either magkaibigan tayo or magkalaban tayo. Naman dito sa telecommunication, ayaw ko na lang magyabang. Meron silang maraming demands. Sabi ko, kagabi sa cabinet meeting, kaya ako na late eh. We, we started at 2 o'clock. We broke off mga something like 12.30. Kahaba ko yung discussion. But I had a warning for these people dito sa tel telecom. Sabi ko sa kanila, just send them this message. Do not this government. Wala ako muna ako ng takatog kaso kaso. Maya maya magdating yung BIR. They will start to audit you during the first year of your business. Haras no. Kung magnanakaw ka mo, sayo naman hindi nagnakaw niya sa kanila. Sila. Not during. Ang hini ko lang naman for years. But kung magkakaroon tayo ng magandang ekonomiya, kayo, alam ninyo na we are moving a little bit faster but not that much. But I will try to, if we make it big in the succeeding years, then maybe. So yun lang ang mensahe ko sa inyo. Ang, ang problema kasi Baka nandito yung sumulat. Ma-insulto. So, as a product of our, of a co-worker sa ating gobyerno, bigyan naman natin importansya baske speech writer lang ito siya. I am happy to join you today on the occasion of NEDA's 45th anniversary. 
This is a celebration of the dedication and commitment of the hardworking men and women of NEDA in shaping our country's socio-economic agenda in the past four decades. As the primary agency task to oversee the Philippine Development Plan 2017-2022, NEDA will play a crucial role in our medium-term vision of turning the Philippines into an upper middle income economy by year. Quite ambitious, 2020. In the fullness of God's time, I am optimistic that we can achieve this goal because of the professionalism of our NEDA officials and personnel. Your accomplishments in the past year and a half speak a lot about your skill and competence to fulfill your mandate. In streamlining the gui guidelines in the processing and approval of flagship projects, the creation of a task force to ensure the timely implementation and integration of the 15 regional development plans into the PDP are just some of the undertakings that uphold the integrity and efficiency of our national development agenda. We will build on these gains by boosting development in the regions. We will create more jobs, improve social services encourage innovation and connect the country to growth centers by aligning regional plans with our national development agenda. Indeed, we have a bright future ahead, and I count on NEDA to never waver in, the su in supporting government's middle-term and long-term socioeconomic agenda. Always uphold good governance in the civil service as you provide direction of the formulation of our economic policies. As we celebrate your accomplishments and look forward to a brighter future ahead, let me ensure that public interest remains at the heart of all government plans, projects, and programs. With Ned at the helm, I am confident that we can realize our vision of a prosperous Philippines by working together and laying the solid foundation for a stronger and more resilient nation. Thank you at mabuhay kayang lahat. Thank you very much, Mr. President. At this point, may we request our president to remain on stage for a photo opportunity. We would also like